Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a splitter engine. Um, this splitter engine will be my custom suspension engine which happens to use servos and suspension pieces to work. Um, it's, I would say, is a fair bit more consistent and reliable than other splitter engines, but it does lack in top speed. But I will show you guys how to fix that and make it go even faster at the end of the video. So to start off, what you're going to want to do is build a little platform. Um, just like this, onto a armored seat. Then what you want to do is add a setup that looks kind of like this. And I'll explain what this is in a minute once we get it all in. So basically what this is, is we have these two servos here. They rotate outwards. Um... Uh, sorry, inwards, and push these uh, servos forwards. Now what this means is that these servos, since they're on the suspension pieces, they are more susceptible to being uh, having their heads turn off the bottom, kind of an instability, sort of dampening sort of effect that happens. Don't really 100% understand it. But basically what happens, these rotate forward like this, following the cursor. They go forward and the head detaches which means that this whole shaft is then getting bugged out and I actually think the game might get confused about where this shaft actually is um, frame to frame um, and that's partially what makes the engine work so we'll keep going um, this is for a fighter version here you can see um, we put some guns on it then we add a gyro for our roll. I generally use gyros for roll. You can easily do it without it. It's just a propulsion system. Um, and the controls you use is completely up to you. But I'd recommend doing that. Um, and yeah, then we can add some aerodynamic pieces like this. Then I've added these here. You don't actually need them. But um, yeah, that's the thing. Guns have pretty good aerodynamics anyway. Um... Now these are just supports for the tail, which is going to pitch us up and down. And as you can see here, we're starting to build the supports for the aerodynamic fins, which are attached to this bugged out piece. See any piece that is attached to the top of a um, mechanical piece that has um, been moved off its base gets this weird effect. And whenever you put aerodynamic pieces on there, depending on how far you've moved it off, the rotation, all sorts of stuff, it does some pretty crazy things I'll go into later. But as you can see, um, we add some steering hinges here. Then um, this is one side of the fins. We also add the other side of the fin here. Um, the reason we've got two is because um, they basically act as um special things the fins go outwards right because these rotate out push that forward and this whole thing pivots outwards and what it thinks what i th believe happens is that the game bugs out and thinks um that these fins should still be at the center point um or that they they are going to head towards the center point or something like that, and then on the next frame it gets confused and it's back there, because that's where it actually is. Um, so it's like it's constantly moving inwards when they get pushed out, creating like a V like this, like these fins create like a V, and then they constantly think they're moving inwards, which constantly make, means that the creation just gets pushed forward at a, immense speeds. Um, so the outsides of these, um, I believe, actually do nothing they don't actually push you forward. In fact, they actually slow you down. That's how we're going to make this consistently um, faster. But, um, yeah, this is the creation done. So if I hop out of build mode here, I'll show you what I mean. When we go into this, press space, then it flies. See, this spawn in, it isn't 100% consistent with the spawn ins, is not supersonic. I've got ones which are much more stable than this, 
you want to be careful making fighters that jiggle too much like this one does because well it basically means that you end up with fighters that the guns like the, the bullets just go everywhere and the auto aim doesn't really work i've had battles especially in one of the trailer challenge episodes where i was trying to shoot someone in a creation like this and the jiggles just meant i couldn't the auto aim even though it was locking on i was getting consist consistent red it was missing all the shots so you want to be careful with that um the computer's only so good and you want to make it as easy as you can for the your own auto aim to work so yeah that's basically how it works now you can make this faster by doing a few things um one we could probably get rid of this reduce enough weight that it does actually just go faster because aerodynamics and all sorts of crazy stuff but the other thing is is that you can actually zero drag the outside of these and or zero drag the creation in general and you're going to be able to get much faster speeds i usually hold off from doing this but say i get like a large porthole put it here and yeah that should be good i'll do that again um it's a pretty janky zero drag but it'll work we copy this over to the other side and that should be on e if i go like this press e they'll detach oh could probably make them on make scrap do this make them make scrap um and usually they go faster but you can see the acceleration was I think it's actually way faster. I haven't seen it on this version with this sort of effect actually before. Very interesting. There we go. Um, when we turn, we accelerate. Uh, wow. But yeah, um, this actually feels really smooth. Um, depending on what you do, you're going to get different results. Zero dragging the actual build um, will make you tons faster because this whole thing works on aerodynamics. Um, that's why you get the cool hissing sound, because the fins think they're getting, um, wind blown on them, and that's what they do. So, I mean, yeah, let's, let's put aerodynamics on. We'll make a version which goes consistently really fast for you guys. So, that's an issue here. So we don't actually, this is just an old design, so there's all sorts of dumb stuff I did. But, um, as you can see here... The aerodynamics would just be way better if it's like this. Um, oh. Yeah, there we go. We had two red points on those things. So yeah, you're easily going to go supersonic in this thing. Um, yeah, and hopefully that was a good tutorial. I'll see you guys um, another time with some more tech or whatever. Um, I'm trying to get the trail challenge videos out and other stuff, but I've had to, again, do some other stuff involving real life stuff, so sorry about that, but um, this has been fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you liked how I did the building um, this time, then let me know, because I actually found that a lot easier, um, and I will probably do that again, um, yeah, but anyway, see you guys in the next video.